Belle Bouquin Candle is a movie about a witch that one day, because she is bored, she decides to make the man living downstairs fall in love with her. I really enjoy the subtle everyday witch vibes of the movie. The idea that witches living amongst us have ordinary lives is very appealing to me. Also, as a fan of James Stewart, it is always nice to see him in movies. It might not be the best witch movie out there, but I think it's charming enough to be watched only once. Even if the ending is a little meh, I recommend watching it though, especially now that is the season of the witch. This movie is about a magical toy store. Should I say more? This movie might seem cliche, but I love it because it is cliche. Such a heartwarming, charming little movie that is, in my opinion, very underrated. The score is also very brilliant and the cast are all amazing. I do watch this movie often because it always gives me hope, so definitely give this one a shot. Wicked Little Letters is based on a true story about a little town in England in 1920s where the inhabitants start to get very rude letters filled of profanities and they all suspect one woman named Rose who had just moved uh, to the town but as it turns out she might not be the culprit after all. I really enjoyed this one. It started as funny and silly but it is way more than that. It's about female oppression and patriarchy and I think this movie rounds everything very nicely. Olivia Colman, one of my favorite actors is brilliant in this one as always so 100% recommend and the final recent favorite movie is Becoming Jane. I've heard about this movie a lot but never actually gave it any chance. It's a movie based on Jane Austen's real life story which essentially drew her to write her masterpiece that is Pride and Prejudice. First half of the movie is a light-hearted love story with the love interest who is very much like Mr. Darcy but the second half is where it gets more emotional and upsetting. I found this movie great and I think it deserves more credit. If you love British period dramas, you will surely like this one. Following up on British period dramas, my recent favorite TV show is Lost in Austin, a silly TV show about a girl who is obsessed with Pride and Prejudice and Mr. Darcy and then one day she finds herself in the world of the book itself. The funny idea of a modern day girl in Victorian times aside, I really eat up anything that is related to Mr. Darcy and Pride and Prejudice. So this show deserves a watch simply because of that and also because of how frustrated the main character gets whenever she cannot make the things happen the way they did in the book. It's only four episodes and I think you'll have a great time watching it. Four sisters decided one day to kill their brother-in-law because he is a prick to all of them. That is the whole story of Bad Sisters. While that is captivating on its own, this show has much more to offer. A black comedy at times, it deals with very serious issues and I think it covers those matters brilliantly. Great performances all around, definitely recommend it. Another TV show from Apple TV Plus about a group of loser MI6 agents who have been sent to work in a place they all call a slough house because of how bad they all are. But every season they somehow manage to solve a case and bring justice. I absolutely love this show. It is action packed, fast paced with great lines. Gary Oldman is incredible as well as all the other actors. I won't say much, just watch it and see for yourself. This last one is lesser known, I guess. It's a mini series I found on Disney Plus, and apparently it is based on a series of books. Set in 16th century England, it's the story of a guy named Short Lake who solves mysteries. I absolutely enjoy murder mysteries revolving around church, set in 15th or 16th century, and I think this one was no exception. Everyone is a suspect unless proven otherwise, and this show does it perfectly. If you love whodunits with old costumes, grumpy detective like main character then short leg is for you If you are looking for an activity to put your mind off your daily life problems, I suggest try a scrapbooking. 
I've started scrapbooking a couple of years ago but picked it up again recently. It is such a calming and therapeutic activity and the goal is to try not to be perfect at it. You don't really need to have lots of stickers or other items. You can start with pieces of paper from magazines or newspapers you might find around the house or even receipts or tickets. You can start small and then grow your collection over time. Just put on a comfort movie or TV show or maybe just a common playlist and then begin. Now that the trees are shedding, you might see lots of leaves covering the ground. This recent hobby that I've grown to enjoy very much is the cheapest and the easiest one. Just go for a walk in nearest park and collect different types of leaves. You can just press them between a book or even make a project out of it. Glue them on a canvas or even frame them. There are so many things you can do and it's like going on a small quest. It's easy and it's guaranteed to make you feel better. I know this one might not sound that special, but I like nothing more than to treat my reading time like a ritual. Make your favorite drink, bring a snack, and start reading. For me, getting ready to do something is as fun as doing it, so why not prepare it like it's a ritual? You can also put on your favorite reading playlist on Spotify and really romanticize your reading time. I've been getting into doing crossword puzzles recently. They're actually very fun to do and really stimulate the mind to function better. There are tons of apps that provide great variety of crosswords, but I personally use this one, which has crosswords in different levels of difficulty. But if you want to have a physical crossword puzzle, that's even better. There are tons of books and newspapers that publish just crossword puzzles that you can get. It's very simple and yet challenging thing to do, so I hope you try it. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon.